Okay, so I gave you the big picture, the, uh, uh, the grand scheme of things, how birds fit into all of this. Well, now then, let's get into the uh, living birds, the birds alive today, not the ones that, uh, the early birds, the ones that most birds, well, they died out in the last extinction 65 million years ago. There were only these very few birds that survived. But, well, none of the other dinosaurs made it. So uh, oh, that, was, that was pretty good that they made, they made it through. Well, so uh, they came in three different kinds, we find, that actually survived that last mass extinction. Uh, and uh, they are the ostrich family, the rat tights, and the fowl and uh, something called the neo-avians, or new birds, into three broad categories. That's what I'll get us started off with now. Talk about uh, the ostrich family. So you know what an ostrich is. Well, things like the ostrich family, then, we sometimes call them rat tights. Anyway, this category is a group of flightless birds. Yes, they, as you know, ostrich cannot fly, and there are other birds similar to that, like an emu, Others that cannot fly. Uh, usually they're pretty big and uh, ostrich-like. And uh, well, but there's an exception: the tinamou. You probably have never heard of the tinamou. Well, there you have a picture of a tinamou. They're not so big. They live in South America, South America, and they can actually fly. You know, this is within that same group, but. Uh, well, they, they fly, not, not like the others. Uh, they're not good at it, but they can fly if they need to uh, in South America. Tinamou. Um, so you get exceptions like these, you know. And, uh, so flightless, though, they were, except for, of course, the Tinamou. Well, uh, they have wings. They have wings. Uh, these uh, rat tights, these birds in the ostrich family, well, they have wings anyway. Even though they can't fly, but well, uh, except uh, another exception here, except for the moa and the elephant bird. So these are our exceptions. Well, these exceptions, uh, you could kind of skip them, I suppose, if you wish, because well, they died out. These are extinct birds. Uh, they both died out a little over a thousand years ago. The moa of New Zealand and the elephant bird of Madagascar. They have no wings, well, had no wings at all. No wings whatsoever, as, as you can see there. Funny looking, huh? And they were also the biggest, tallest, uh, most massive, heaviest birds ever. Well, this was the biggest ever, the elephant bird in the second. Uh, like, really big. I mean, a person would stand up about here or so. I mean, maybe, really massive thing. Well, you know how it is. If you get really big, it might die out. That's what happened here with the moa and the elephant bird. So, well, what we have left, anyhow, is uh, uh, rat tights, birds of the ostrich family that uh, have wings. Okay, so the now extinct moa and elephant birds, then, uh, we can ignore those, I guess. They're an exception, and that would be messy. Uh, yeah. Interestingly, I'll mention that the uh, moa from New Zealand is uh, related to the tinamou of South America. But that's a, almost on the other side of the planet, practically, all the way across the Pacific Ocean. That's the closest living relative. And the tinamou actually can fly. Well, the closest living relative to uh, the elephant bird of Madagascar is actually the kiwi bird of New Zealand. And the kiwi bird is actually distantly related to the moa bird of New Zealand, which went extinct. And so here we have the closest relatives to these things on the other side of the world, practically, like super far apart. Well, how, how does that happen? And this is a very interesting question that we will get to when we actually have real class together. Uh, a very uh, interesting topic. And 
uh, you need to know your geography to say this is important. Like I was saying, geography is very important. Yes. Well, uh, uh, having mentioned the kiwi bird now, you might know about the kiwi bird. Okay. Kiwi, New Zealand. Yeah. Well, kiwi bird, well, little poofy, little fluffy birdies. That uh, does, does a kiwi bird have wings? Well, I'm not sure. I know. Hold on. Does this thing have wings? You're gonna be looking at it. Well, they got a wing, like maybe like your thumbnail on them. This thing. Tiny, super tiny wings that you barely see amongst all their feathers. But they actually have some kind of wings, uh, puny though they are, uh, this closest relative to the elephant bird, the kiwi bird. Well, uh, <clears throat> so uh, this brings me to the topic of vestigials. Okay, vestigial, vestigial. Here we have a, one of our terms, kids. Vestigial. Vestigial? What's that? A vestigial is a body part that has lost some or all of its ancestral use. Aha! Well, so, unlike, say, a moa or an elephant bird that has no wings at all, well, a kiwi bird has a little bit of a wing that uh, seems like it could be of no possible use whatsoever. Little tiny things, you can barely even see it, but there's still this little remnant of a, a, a wing there. Well, it's distant ancestors, you can figure, had big wings and they could fly even. But that was a long, long time ago. So there's this little bit of a leftover. And this is the vestigial wing on a kiwi bird. So, well, so it's lost all of its use, the wings on a kiwi bird. Pretty much useless, but it's still there, this little flap of a thing. But, uh, uh, that's usually, well, that's usually what people think of with vestigial, and they think, ah, oh, it's useless, or the vestigial, this leftover thing of no use now. Well, but a lot of things that are vestigial are actually of great use. So, for an example, then, take the ostrich. Well, does an ostrich have wings? Why, sure. Does it have small wings? No, it's got these big wings on it. Can it fly? No, not at all. Well, so, uh, uh, what use are these big wings? Well, they're very useful to an ostrich because an ostrich, you know, they run super fast, you know. So these wings, then, it helps them with their balance, and other birds use their wings for balance, too. But, well, this is the only use left of a wing, probably, for an ostrich, is to keep their balance. Well, uh, they're running super fast. Well, it helps them to, to be able to turn when they run because they got these big counterbalancing wings. So some of the ancestral use of wings has been retained, and that's why they have big ones. Uh, they just can't fly with them, so some of their use was lost. So what happens then? Well, you get a new use that was not uh, something before. I'll give you a completely different example, like a penguin. This is not a rat tight, it's a completely different kind of bird. But, well, they have wings, but, well, they cannot fly with them, but they can swim with these things. Well. Their, their distant ancestors, those birds did not swim with their wings, you know, so they got this new use out of a body part. Uh, so, uh, well, these are um, all, uh, that all counts under the heading of vestigial, so that's your, uh, your term for today.